What's up everybody? I am in the office and by office I mean the garage. Um, I had a whole filming schedule of things I was going to film for you guys that are planning on getting out of the military. However, comma pause, the Rona has screwed that up. Um, I had all my SFL tap scheduled for Fort Polk in the upcoming weeks and I was going to do some videos about that process. The Rona has forced all of that to be rescheduled and some of it will be done virtually. So the videos are gonna be all messed up, but I promise I will get you the info. And the reason I know this info is needed is I had a conversation this morning with the first sergeant who did not know anything about the SFL TAP program or when he could start it or anything like that. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on the SFL TAP program, just to kind of lay the groundwork there. All right, SFL TAP. It's an acronym. It stands for Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program. And if you're wondering, I'm doing this live with like no editing because editing last week kind of killed me and I hate editing. So who can use the SFL TAP program? Everybody that is transitioning out of the Army, no matter how you're transitioning, has to go through some sort of the SFL TAP program, okay? Even if you're getting chaptered, kicked out, whatever, you have to go through this. Now, if you're retiring, you can start this program voluntarily 24 months from the date of your retirement. If you're just regular, did your four years, you're ETSing, you can start 18 months out. Check it out, you know. I highly recommend you start this program the moment you're eligible to. The reason is there's a lot of stuff you can do that if you wait too long, like I did, you're not going to be able to get it, okay? <clears throat> there's the skill bridge, uh, civilian skills program. Those are programs that let you take like 120 days or more to work with a civilian company. You're not getting paid, it's like an internship. The army still pays you, but it gives you the opportunity to learn skills that are directly related to the civilian world. And you never know, you may be able to land a job out of it, okay? Like I just talked about, um, the Rona is messing everything up, the COVID, Kung Flu, whatever we're calling it now. And a lot of this stuff you really should do in person, but if you can't, say you're in recruiting and you're far away from a military installation, you can do this whole process virtually. And I'm waiting to do most of mine in person because I, I retain information better in person. Plus I gotta go to Fort Polk anyway to clear CIF and get retirement physicals and everything. So that, that's how I'm choosing to do most of it. Um, one of the classes that I have to have is done virtually, and it's like a 12-hour class or something. I don't know. Eight hours anyway, so I'm going to do it virtually. Um, that way I can sit down and just relax and, and do it and not have to be in a crowded classroom situation. So like I said earlier, it's 18 months out for normal people that are ETSing. Retirees, check it out, guys. Seriously, start this 24 months out. There's no reason you shouldn't. Um, the programs that, that I talked about, the civilian skills and the skill bridge and all that, that is approved at the battalion commander level, okay? It doesn't have to go up to some crazy high level of the chain of command. It's the battalion level. But there's paperwork that has to be done through your MCOM material command uh, coordinator. So you're going to have to work on that stuff. Um yeah, every military installation has an SFL program. Correction, every Army installation. I don't know about the other branches. Um, and there's also the virtual center. And this program is available to you after you get out of the military as well. And you just go to the SFLTAP.mil or whatever it is and log on. Now, in order to get started with this whole program, if you're in that 18-month or 24-month program for either ETSing or retiring, log on to the FS SFL TAP website and click a few buttons, sign up, register, and there's an online portion that you have to do first. And after you do that, you can reach out to the SFL TAP Center on your local installations, or you can choose to do the whole thing virtually. Um, but you have to get started with it on that website, okay? So in the upcoming weeks, I'm gonna be doing some videos about some more of these programs. I am taking the Boots to Business class. I'll be doing a thing on it. Um, the benefits upon discharge for the VA. We'll talk about some VA benefits. 
Um, I'll give you a quick recap of how all of my SFL stuff went. That'll be in February. I should be done with that process by the end of February. So yeah, we're going to be busy around here for the next few months. It's going to be crazy. Going to be crazy. If you guys can think of any specific questions that, that I can try to find and dig answers for about the Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program, the Civilian Skills Program, the Benefits Delivery Upon Discharge, any of that, let me know, and I'll look into it because I got nothing else to do. Um, I'll try to find all your answers. If you have experience with these programs and you can offer any tips, tricks, ways to make this more efficient and effective, let me know in the comments below. Message me on my Facebook feed. You guys are all my friends, so hook it up. All right, guys. I will see you next week, and we're going to talk about... Honestly, my schedule is shot because of the Rona. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but we're going to talk about something. But we can talk about Gus Malzahn getting fired. We can talk about the shoe throw from the Florida Gators. We can talk about how Ohio State does not deserve to be in the playoffs if they get selected. But most of all, we can talk about Roll Tide. Again, sorry if I'm looking in the wrong places. Roll Tide.